Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Rest of Off The Cuff. Today we have a really cool review for you of some awesome new brands from a new company that I have been following pretty recently who uh, put out some really interesting designs that I've been really looking forward to bringing onto the channel for review. These are from the brand Hawk Rigger. Now they're a UK based brand and basically they started out making these Marine Corps uh, rigger style belts. Um, and eventually expanded into watch straps. Now that Hawk Rigger name is drawn from the Marine Corps parachute riggers who are credited for the evolution of the riggers belt. Riggers in the military are famous for uh, scavenging parts from standard issue kit uh, to innovate new gear designs. Um, basically, they say that the that necessity is the mother of all innovation and at Hawk Rigger they are firm believers that uh, inspiration plus creativity and persistence lead to innovation. Now, uh, I have two really cool examples. I actually do have other, quite a few other variations, but basically these are their two main straps. Uh, we have on the left, the Huey Rigger Band, and then on the right, we have the Parabellum O-Rig. Now, uh, on the right side there, uh, the nylon band, uh, they're both in black, but the nylon band actually is, is uh, one of their newer designs versus the more classic design on the elastic strap on the left. Uh, they're really cool and really different, and um, I'm just digging them. They just have this great tactical kind of military aesthetic um, without having to shout it out. I, and I think that's really cool. And of course, they go really well with these nice matte blasted uh, field and, and pilot watches here. And you can see they even go well with, uh, of course, a more modern design, also a more vintage design. So I think that's really versatile on their side. Honestly, after experiencing the quality of these two products, I, I went ahead and I ordered like two more. So um, these ones, spoiler alert, uh, I, I really enjoyed these. So uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look and get these pieces in hand. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start out with kind of the classic... Uh, Huey Rigger band here. Now, basically, this is just an evolution of the band, and it follows those same original uh, aesthetics from uh, their basically their first line, and, and kind of turned it into something really special. Now, as you can see here, pretty standard layout that you would expect. Let me move this out just so it doesn't mess with the focus. Um, pretty standard layout uh, that you would expect from kind of that uh, you know marine national style strap but the main difference is they have a really creative way of creating the hardware uh, of course this hardware is pretty nicely tumbled or stonewashed it looks like um, but basically you will attach here and then when you're putting the strap on you just weave this through and it's and then uh, just flatten it out Make sure everything is pulled taut, and uh, this isn't going anywhere, which is really nice. And then again, the bulk of the strap lays underneath your wrist, which is really nice. So you still get the single pass. You get, of course, the benefits of the fact that even if you uh, your spring bar fails, that your strap is not going to fail. Honestly, this is going nowhere. And I really, really like the aesthetic here. I think it's pretty nicely balanced. Of course, this is a smaller field watch at only 38 millimeters from Hamilton. Um, but you can see this uh, buckle size will nicely offset something larger like a diver or something like that as well. Uh, but it's uh, quite thin. So so I think it still works even with kind of smaller, more felt pieces. So I really like that. Um, and of course, the parachute, you know, band itself is pretty nice. It's not overly stretchy, which is something that I kind of uh, noticed that I just really have to be weary of these days because the super stretchy ones uh, do tend to be very comfortable. But when you get active, you don't want it to have so much give that when you throw a football or something uh, that it pulls your watch away from your wrist. So something that probably not Nine out of ten people won't realize until it's too late. So of course, me being very active, I've I've had, and of course, having this review channel, I've tried a lot of other elastic style Marine National inspired straps, and uh, depend and and there's a sweet spot. You want it to have enough give for it to be quite comfortable, but not so much uh, stretchiness essentially that it's going to. Uh, 
you know, fly off the wrist. So the nice thing is these are only 44, uh, 41 direct. You can get them in 20 millimeter or 22 millimeter widths. Uh, they should fit anywhere. And of course you can choose the sizing, uh, but anywhere from 6.75 inches to nine inch lengths. Uh, of course you do have this nicely done uh, matte tumbled hardware which i think is nice because it actually can uh one it matches uh, matte blast but also uh, it has a nice enough sheen to it to where it honestly would be fine uh with brushed as well and, and obviously if you beat something up like this it's not going to show wear really well so i think that's really nice from that standpoint uh there are quite a few color options here this is of course the all black uh, solid, but you can also get it uh, black with a white stripe, green with a red stripe, green with a yellow stripe, um, gray with a black stripe, and then sand with a white stripe. So these are pretty cool. Now moving on to the next design, uh, their updated design here. Uh, this is the Parabellum O-Rig. Now uh, basically this is a really nice and simple kind of clinch down uh, single pass NATO type strap and and the, we have that o-ring there uh, which definitely uh, of course uh, reminds you of a riggers belt uh, and it, the nice thing is it actually uh, works very simply and and very intuitively when it comes to quick release uh, off of the wrist the thing that I will say uh, for this particular model is you can set it up to where it comes off the wrist very easily but when you're putting it on there is a little bit of extra time you kind of have to take while putting it on uh, but the nice thing is as you can see if uh, you know if the elastic stuff isn't really your bag and you really just kind of enjoy a thicker NATO the nice thing is although it's thick it's a single pass again um, so you're gonna have a very uh, minimal amount of thickness added to your watch case and it's gonna lift it a little bit off your wrist which is nice honestly it gives you a little bit of breathing space um, it has this really interesting keeper here um, uh, that's that's uh, you know it works really nicely uh, as far as functionally pulling it off in an expedited way but it does take a little extra effort when you're putting it on uh, but I really like this one I think it's a very balanced look uh, on wrist it looks really great and of course it's a little bit just a hair more planted because you uh, don't have any stretch within the material itself. These are also 441 each uh, US dollars, of course, um, and you can get them with 20 millimeter widths only, and basically you can have them uh, fit anywhere between six to eight inch uh, wrist lengths. Uh, you still get that nicely matte tumbled hardware. It's also signed. Uh, if I can get it to focus there, there you go. So that looks really good from that standpoint and definitely, of course, has that overbuilt look. Available colors for this one, though, are only uh, black as seen here and then also a green color, at least for now. I'm sure they'll eventually roll out more if there's demand for more. But uh, like this is a really handsome one. And again, they, they, they go through the trouble of really giving you some different combinations as far as the hardware goes, as you can see. They're, they're really quite different, but they do share a common design line language and aesthetic, which I can definitely appreciate. Now, typically, um, when I do these types of, you know, uh, of watch reviews, uh, I'll actually just, you know, cut the scene, put it on the wrist here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how uh, these go on the wrist. First, I'm going to start with the classic just to show you quite uh, just how simple this is, which is really nice. So basically you open it up. So now you have all this space, which is great. You get it over your wrist. Uh, you pull, of course, get some slack, you just run it through here, line it up, push it through, and of course you want to just make sure that it's laying flat and pulling taut. So now that that's there, it's on. It's, it's, it's on, it's great, oh, man, infinitely comfortable. You can have it below the wrist bone, you can wear it above, but this thing is killer, and honestly, well, having kind of play you do get to play with where you want to keep that i find that i really like these buckles because of the the contour here that it, it fits pretty well right around like this area of my wrist and and i do like that and i find it to be quite comfortable but look at that i mean you can see here just a really handsome look and then you do get a little bit more visual play a little interest here um and then of course on this side there's uh that little 
uh, extra ring here, which adds a little bit of balance to the look. But this is super comfortable, guys. This thing is killer. Um, it definitely has a wonderful tactical vibe, um, and it just fits great. And honestly, this thing is super comfortable. I love the uh, the wide, kind of slightly sloping uh, contours here uh, on the buckle. I think it fits together really nicely. And this is not going anywhere by accident, guys. You're, you're going to have to purposefully take this pop it out the nice thing is also here you saw it didn't snap back which is something you can have that can happen with your typical marine national straps is there's so much taut tension there that as you release um, it'll actually snap back and then hit your hit your crystal on your watch so I thought that was really nice now for this model, it's going to take a little bit more setup. I did have this closed uh, just so you guys can see how this is going to be on the wrist. So you're going to get, I guess, kind of a double here because you'll see how it pulls out. Essentially, pull it here, you lift this tab, and bam. So it's, it's going to loosen very easily. Now, you just slide your wrist through. Again, this is this one is going to take a little bit more skill and, and just a little bit more time, you could say. But as you can see, you're just pulling it, center it on the wrist. And then from here, it kind of depends on how you'd like to tuck uh, this access. Now, you can be very simple, pull it right through, and essentially, if I could. Of course, I'm reaching around a camera tripod, so uh, adding a little extra difficulty here, but once we get it through, essentially, there we go. You can just pull that, and if I wanted to, I, I could do one of two things. I could slide this down to where it just holds it, and we'll hold it in place with a single layer, or two, I could fold it back and have it tucked for a cleaner look, right? As you guys can see there, basically we just take this, push it, boom, and now it's very flush. That also works. Um, or what, what my kind of preference is, uh, maybe not a cleaner look, but I think for me just a little bit more balanced is what I'll do is I'll actually run this back through. And it, it's also a, a matter of being able to kind of remove it with that expedited feel um, I'll actually run it back forward which takes of course some wiggling some pushing some pulling and the nice thing is guys of course you only have to do this once um, once it's on your wrist it's all set but uh, you know in all honesty it, there is a little bit of a setup there pull that pinch it okay I like to kind of have this flattened like that and I'll have a little bit uh, overhang here on this side folded and then a little bit uh, peeking out and I feel like it gives you a nice little level of, of kind of evenness to it. Also you have uh, the weight visually here. Uh, it's nice to have another touch, a little patch of some visually there and I think it feels nice and then of course when it comes to removing it, you take you can take this and pull it out um, and it's it's easier. I mean, honestly, you could just do this and everything could probably pull out, but um, That's just me. That's my preference and man. I think it looks really great. And again, the nice thing is very different, right? Um, these would be interchangeable and look really great, but very classic totally old school and then here you have very modern and i think the aesthetics you know with these big oversized buckles they're signed you know they have this beautiful uh finish to them that's very versatile that can be with something you know match with something that's brushed match with something that's blasted i think it's a really great look and as you can see there's even a little bit of space here so if you want to add a compass or something like that you could totally clip uh, something on and i think it'll look great i love here this area um, on the ring it just just gives you some extra visual interest in play and again the contour on this just makes it sit on the wrist really nicely and I think it's a great look guys it's it's feels good it's very very secure again this is something that's not going to go somewhere by accident uh, which is great and then of course you do again you get the benefit of if you do have spring bar failure uh, the loop on here is a closed loop so you'll still have your watch your watch will be hanging on by the other spring bar and basically you would have to have both spring bars fail for it to happen so 
this thing is really nice uh, really enjoying it um, so I, I really do think this looks absolutely great um, let's do this let me just add some more fun to it let me put this on my other wrist of course I write with my left hand so I rarely ever wear watches on this wrist but let's do this just for the sake of making this a little bit uh, a little bit more visually interesting kind of as we give closing thoughts look at that even on the wrong wrist i was able the wrong wrist. some of you are like this is the this is the wrist it should be on um but even for me on a wrist that i don't wear it on that i didn't even size it for um it still fits relatively good and it was a i was able to articulate it and get everything set and th that's comfortable and that's in place and you can see how flat it wears of course these are thinner uh, watches in general, but you can see they lay very very flat very nice. They look good You know, let me know which is your guys's pick um, for me. I guess um, My final thoughts these are really nicely done guys. I, I really like the design um, And as much as I like the design the execution also I find to be really well done as well So if you have the kind of those high-end tool watches uh, Divers military watches pilots watches field watches that whole thing these just fit that and, and they do a really great job of kind of accentuating uh, what you can kind of do uh, from this perspective with design and then also the build quality. I think it's really cool. Of course uh, Having spent almost 10 years in the Marine Corps big huge fan of, uh, of Riggers belts and then also this, this is the fact that you know, they give many shouts out to the Marine Corps uh, Kind of in their history uh, on, on their actual uh, web page. Go ahead. Check the uh, links below uh, I think that's awesome. It, you know, they give credit where credit is due They didn't try to say that they invented any of this stuff. They just said hey, we, we took something cool We took the ethos of it um, and and really tried to innovate and and have carry on that spirit of innovation and creativity and this is what we came up with so uh, really great tactical aesthetic I mean you could even call it tactic cool not just tactical because uh, I think these are just kind of impressive even uh, if for somebody who's not in the military I think they'll see something like this see how robust it is and it's just a great uh, you know outdoor field ready type of adventure strap um, Closing thoughts, I guess I could close this out saying, you know, these are definitely an even more interesting evolution of a very proven design. Um, whether it's from the buckle being kind of a proven design or the band material themselves, whether it's, you know, that parachute uh, elastic band style or, uh, you know, just your typical NATO nylon style. So really a lot to like here. I'll actually pull this off again to give you guys another demo pull that through lift that up you can see very easy to remove very handsome still for this one even on the wrong wrist pop it off nothing slapping the crystal nothing snapping around and bam you got still quite a nice looking set of watches that looked great on my wrist they were very very comfortable so again guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you like the video please do it like and if you have any please subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys mm -hmm.